What's up, my friends? It's time to build a deck with a porch on two sides, on the back and the east side. We're gonna be digging this high ground and doing a hose with a two-man auger. It makes sense because it has two handles. So now that we have the holes, we align it to pour our concrete. We want to go at least 18 inches. That's in Arkansas where I'm at. You have to go six inches under the freeze uh, line, which is 12 inches in Arkansas. The more north that you are, the deeper you have to dig. Now we're going to install our brackets. Uh, we never want to bury the posts in concrete because it'll rot eventually and it'll be hard to replace it. So you install it on a bracket, on a six by six in this instance. And now for our ledger board uh, that goes in the back, we drill a holes. Uh, I believe these are half inch and uh, we just drill them into the wall and uh, install our 2 by 10 in, in this occasion. And after we have our posts up, well, we do the notch for the double 2 by 10s that we're going to be installing here to make our support. And uh, for our joists, we start installing them uh, two uh, two by tens in the back because they are 15 foot long. And then we install our posts, which are going to be also holding the porch that's gonna go on top of here. And uh, I like to do the notch to put our ledger board inside the post, and that way it'll be secure and more support so we have our our joists and uh, our notches on the posts now we are ready to install the ledger all around hey guys if you're liking my my videos uh, like and subscribe for more videos and for thank you for that support we're going to be building more stuff we continue with our ledger board please let me know your comments what you think about it in this side we have a uh, two by six as joys because they are five foot long we have to dig more uh, to be level with this ground is uh, it was it was too high it took a lot of work we install our joists which are two by eight they are 10 foot long and then we're ready for our deck board. as you can see uh, we're attaching it to the old deck that they had they wanted to put down so we just uh, continued and I like to leave uh, spacers between them this is the back side of the deck that we are now that we have our deck in the back all complete uh, this is where our porch is going to go and uh, we're going to take off the fascia and the soffit and cut uh, the, those tails on the rafters so we can uh, have space to set our rafters on the wall and there we have it we have our rafters they are 16 foot rafters and we barely had enough to to make it to the wall but they are two by ten rafters because we have no joists in this and also we're going to be covering the east side of the house by installing five foot rafters 
around there, five, around five foot. Well, now we put the brackets for the two by fours. And our two by six will go on top of it. We put brackets and uh, we have to nail with uh, a joist hanger nails, remember that. They have to be galvanized so they hold with the treated uh, lumber. In the front, w there was a concrete patio under the, the porch, uh, so they wanted some lumber as well, some uh, uh, deck boards, so we installed them. We cut them so we can put a one by another piece running the opposite way, and that way we don't have all those ends showing. And now it's time to drill our holes for our screws that the wire goes into. I made a little jig uh, that it, they are supposed to go about three inches. So I made a jig uh, two inches and three quarters, which is the center of the six by six. And it's so easy and simple to drill the holes. And then for the other side, we just uh, face it that way, with the face in. And now it's ready for our anchors. Uh, we have the left side and we have our right side. And then uh, it comes with two wrenches. But I found out a way, I was doing it one by one, but then I found a way to do it with the drill. So I just started using the drill. I guess it's experience and things that you don't learn or you don't realize until you realize it. <laughs> okay, and... We put them in reverse, instead of uh, going uh, clockwise, you're going to go counterclockwise for the left ones. And you'll see why eventually when I install the wire, you stay with me. And now that they're on, it's time to install our wire. With the wire, we have this uh, press that we're going to use it's uh, up to five ton i'll leave you the link in the description um it just tightens that screw and uh, the anchor and then the the wire is connected and then on the other side we just cut it with the help of another person and then they hand me the other end so we can do the second one and that's how we do all of them then we do the other side one by one the same process as this one we just do one whole section first and then the other end So now it's time to tighten the, the wire and uh, remember that you went counterclockwise on those left side, that's because you go the same direction to tighten them because you don't want to twist that cable. So you want it to go in both of them at the same time and the same, they're, they're rotating the same direction. So that's how we do all of them one by one and this, for this instance I had to do a bunch of them maybe 50 sections 
but uh, it came out really nice. Again, guys, I remind you, if you like my content, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be seeing you guys again soon. Um, we're finally done. So now we're going to take a walk around and see the final product. That wire sure looks really nice. Let me know what you think about that wire or if you prefer uh, the spindles, the wooden spindles or the metal spindles. It looks really nice. I really liked it. Hey guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. See you in the next episode.